If you're looking for a cozy, charming, and memorable escape for your next dining experience, then look no further than Feast and Florette in Hudson. Today, we're taking you inside. This is one of the most stunning restaurant spaces I've walked into in a long time. Lavinia, you're in charge of the flowers. Why did you want to bring them into the restaurant? You come in, you smell the fire, you smell the food, and then just having your eyes being greeted by these incredible colors and flowers and makes the restaurant pop a little bit more. We grow 50% of them on our farm and then the other 50% come from our friends at Cedar Farms in Ghent. So we can come in and enjoy them just as part of the decor, but we can buy them as well? Yep, they're all for sale. Is this an old building? I mean, it has that look to it. Is there some history? Yes. It's from the 1860s. It was a garage at one point, a brothel at another point, <laughs> and then um, actually before we bought it, it was a tea shop. But you always have old timers that'll come in or people that have been in the area for a long time like, oh, I used to pop by here at two in the morning <laughs> and get the best hot dogs. And then someone else will say, Oh, I stayed in the room up above and had some tea. Yeah. You know, so it's like so many different stories over the last year. No one admits to the brothel. Right. <laughs> exactly. No, that was they're the, probably all uh, ways, ways, yeah. way back. The food is as beautiful as the restaurant is. What did you bring out? For starters, over here, this is punturelli, traditionally, uh, you know, Roman uh, chicory, and then we just do it with a simple dressing of anchovy, garlic, lemon chili flakes and nice olive oil. This is uh, one of our staple items since we opened two years ago. It's our tagliatelle bolognese. I mean, we do it with white wine, beef, pork, and we finish it with chicken livers. So yeah. good. Oh good, thank you. <laughs> and the bolognese, wow. Yeah. We, uh, you know, we love vegetables, uh, so we have a whole section set up for vegetables. This being one of my favorites, and it's, it's really simple. We just take radishes that are fresh, put them in the wood burning oven with a little bit of olive oil, uh, salt and pepper, and then we finish it with honey from our farm and a little lemon. They're kind of fun, right? Yeah, the honey's a, a nice different. touch. This particular one is uh, one of, that I'm pretty fond of. So it's a uh, smoked duck. Mm. We do it with some local grapes, saba, and some uh, grilled radicchio. Oh my god, I love it. I see why people oh. won't let you take it off the specials. So we buy a 70 pound yellowfin tuna or a big eye tuna once a week. And we just basically cut off the loin, uh, serve it crudo, so it's raw. And then we take uh, tomatoes from our farm the end of the season. And we make an aqua pazzo, which means crazy water. I'm thoroughly enjoying every bite of this meal. And last but not least, we had some ribs on this table. Yeah. These are, uh, again, like the tagliatelle, uh, a dish that came on the menu when we first opened. Jason, 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 Jason. Thank you and Lavinia so much for having us today. Really, I will remember this restaurant forever. It was beautiful and it's delicious, and I can't wait to come back. Oh. Cheers, thank you so much.